Have you ever spent time with someone and felt completely drained afterward? It's as if your joy energy and positivity have been sucked out of you. But what if this energy drain wasn't a random occurrence, but a result of interacting with someone emitting a different kind of frequency, a low vibration? This is a phenomenon that can deeply impact your spiritual well-being. But why exactly do some people, depending on their vibration, lift us up, while others pull us down the concept of vibrational energy? First, we must understand the concept of vibrational energy. Vibrational energy, a concept rooted in various spiritual and metaphysical traditions, suggests that everything in the universe is made up of energy that vibrates at different frequencies. This idea can be traced back to ancient philosophies and teachings in Hindu philosophy prana, is considered the universal energy that flows within all living beings. Beings sustaining life and health. Prana is believed to be a manifestation of the divine, reflecting the cosmic energy that pervades the universe, the ko. Encept is deeply embedded in the belief that the universe is an interconnected web of energy. Prana is seen as the link between the physical and the spiritual, flowing through the body's channels, known as nadis, and the chakras, which are energy centers. Similarly, K or Qi is a fundamental concept in Chinese philosophy, understood as the vital life energy that permeates the universe and sustains health and vitality. It is the underlying principle that forms the basis of all existence. It is divided into yin and yang, representing opposite but complementary forces T. He balance and harmony of qi are essential for health, and well-being qi is also linked to the five elements wood fire, earth metal, and water, which describe the dynamic processes and interactions in the natural world. Vibrational energy is used in spiritual and holistic practices to describe the unseen but deeply felt energy that surrounds us. Everything in the universe, including our thoughts and emotions, carries a certain vibration. There are two types of vibrations, low and high vibrations. Our personal vibrational energy is influenced by our thoughts, emoti. Ons and actions, positive thoughts and emotions like love, gratitude and joy create high-frequency vibrations. These high vibrations are akin to bright sparkling light. They uplift us, enhance our well-being and attract positive experiences and people into our lives. On the other hand, negative thoughts and emotions, such as fear, anger, and sadness, generate low-frequency vibrations. These low vibrations are like dark, heavy clouds. They weigh us down, diminish our vitality, and draw negative experiences and individuals towards us when we talk about low vibrational. People we're referring to those whose energy fields are often filled with negativity and chaos. The law of attraction popularized by many modern spiritual and self-help teachings is based on this principle of vibrational energy. It posits that like attracts like meaning, that the frequency of our energy will attract corresponding experiences and people. When we maintain a high vibrational state, we magnetize positive outcomes and relationships conversely. If our energy is low, we are more likely to encounter challenges, setbacks, and draining interactions a key. According to the law of attraction, our thoughts and feelings emit a certain vibrational frequency into the universe. These vibrations interact with the energy around us, pulling in circumstances, opportunities, and individuals that resonate with our current state of being. This idea is rooted in the belief that everything in the universe is made up of energy, and this energy vibrates at different frequencies. An interesting parable that illustrates the power of vibrational energy is the story of the two wolves, often attributed to Cherokee wisdom. According to the Alb tale, a grandfather tells his grandson about a battle that goes on inside. Every person the battle is between two wolves. One wolf is evil. It represents anger, envy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies false pride, superiority, and ego. The other wolf is good. It represents joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. The grandson thinks about it and asks which wolf wins. The grandfather replies, 
The one you feed this parable beautifully captures the idea that our foe, cuss and energy can either raise or lower our vibrational frequency, shaping our reality accordingly. But why do some people emit such low vibrational energy? Why some people emit such low vibrational energy? The answer lies in the internal state of these individuals. They often carry a heavy burden of unresolved emotional issues. This behavior stems from a place of deep-seated fear and insecurity, just as a polluted river can contaminate everything it touches. Low vibrational people can spread their negative energy to those around them to understay. And this let's delve into some traits that are commonly found in low vibrational people. Low vibrational people, often referred to as energy vampires, possess certain traits and behaviors that perpetually keep their energy at a low frequency. These characteristics can manifest in various ways, creating a pervasive negative influence on those around them. One of the most common traits of low vibrational people is chronic negativity. These individuals tend to focus on the worst aspects of any situation, frequently complaining and expressing dissatisfaction. Chi. Either it's about their job relationships or even the whether their conversations are often laced with pessimism. This constant negativity can create an emotional black hole, pulling down the energy of anyone who engages with them. Their worldview is tinted with a dark lens, unable to see the light and positivity that others might easily notice. These are the people who always see the glass as half empty. They thrive on drama and often bring it into their interactions. This negativity can be incredibly contagious. This brings us to the concept of emotional Contagion emotional contagion is the phenomenon where we mimic the emotions of those around us. If you've ever felt happier after spending time with a joyous friend or more anxious after talking with someone stressed, you've experienced emotional contagion, low vibrational. People are masters of spreading their emotional state. Their constant complaining anger or sadness can latch onto your spirit, dragging you down to their level. Personality and social psychology study provides insight into the effects of chronic negativity on both individuals and their so. Seal environments, it was found that negative emotions such as chronic pessimism and dissatisfaction can significantly impact the emotional states of others, often leading to decreased overall mood and energy levels in social interactions. The study highlighted that individuals who consistently display negative emotions tend to create a pervasive atmosphere of negativity which can lead to strained relationships and decreased well-being for those around them. This aligns with the observation that chronic negativity acts as an emotional black hole, diminishing the e-vibrational energy of social groups closely related to. Negativity is the tendency to engage in gossip and criticism. Low vibrational people often find pleasure in discussing others' flaws and failures using judgmental and harsh language. This behavior not only perpetuates their low vibrational state, but also spreads negativity to those who listen and participate the act of tearing others down is a reflection of their insecurities and unresolved issues, and it creates a toxic environment where negativity thrives low. Vibrational people may also engage in competitive or jealous behavior instead of celebrating others' successes. They feel threatened and respond with envy or attempts to undermine. This behavior can create a toxic environment where collaboration and mutual support are replaced by rivalry and mistrust. The stress of navigating such dynamics can sap your energy and diminish your motivation to pursue your own goals. Another hallmark of low vibrational individuals is a lack of empathy and compassion. These people often have difficulty understanding or valuing others' feelings and perspectives. The he may come across as self-centered focusing primarily on their own needs and desires without regard for how their actions affect others. This lack of empathy can lead to manipulative and exploitative behaviors, further draining the energy of those around them. Their interactions are often transactional, driven by what they can gain rather than genuine connection and mutual support. Low vibrational people also tend to exhibit a victim mentality. They perceive the themselves as powerless and blame external circumstances or other people for their problems. This mindset prevents them from taking responsibility for their actions.
and making positive changes in their lives. Instead, they remain stuck in a cycle of blame and helplessness, which can be incredibly draining for those who interact with them. Their constant need for validation and reassurance can become a significant emotional burden, sapping the energy of friends and loved ones. The concept of a victim mentality resonates with the ideas of Friedrich Nair, a prominent 19th-century philosopher N. often criticized what he called slave morality, which he associated with a Emmy. Inset of victimhood and resentment in his work on the genealogy of Morality N. argues that individuals who adopt this mentality blame others and external circumstances for their plight rather than taking control of their own lives. He emphasizes the importance of overcoming this mindset to achieve self-mastery and personal growth. Concepts, central to his philosophy of the Ubermensch, or Overman. Nature's critique highlights the detrimental effects of a victim mentality on both the individual and their relationships with others, a key trait of low vibrational individu. All's is their propensity for drama, these people often create or magnify conflicts and crises, drawing attention to themselves and their struggles. They thrive on the emotional chaos that drama brings, using it as a way to feel significant and in control. However, this constant turmoil can be exhausting for those around them who may find themselves caught in a never-ending cycle of tension and conflict. The energy required to navigate and manage these dramatic situations can leave others feeling depleted and stressed. Another significant mechanism of energy, drain is the constant need for validation and reassurance. From low vibrational individuals, these people often have deep-seated insecurities and a persistent sense of inadequacy to compensate. They seek external validation, relying on others to bolster their self-esteem. This creates a one-sided dynamic, where you are continually providing emotional support without receiving much in return. The imbalance can be exhausting as you pour energy into uplifting them while your own needs go unmet. Additionally, low vibrational people often exhibit rigid thinking and resistance to change. They may be closed-minded clinging to outdated beliefs and refusing to consider new perspectives. This inflexibility can create an environment of stagnation and frustration as they resist growth and transformation. Their fear of the unknown and unwillingness to adapt can be a significant source of tension and conflict in relationships, further draining the energy of those who seek progress and evolution. Soren Card, a 19th century Danish philosopher, explored themes of existentialism and the individual struggle with becoming their true S. Elf, he emphasized the importance of personal growth, transformation, and the necessity of embracing uncertainty and the unknown to a achieve authentic existence in works like Fear and Trembling and The Sickness Unto Death. Card noted that individuals often cling to the familiar and resist change due to fear and anxiety. This resistance can prevent personal development and create a state of despair. K.A.G. Gard's emphasis on the leap of faith highlights the necessity of overcoming rigid thinking and being open to new possibilities to achieve a fulfilling and authentic life in relationships, low, vibrational. Individuals can be emotionally manipulative. They may use guilt, fear, or shame to control others and get their way. This manipulation can create a sense of unease and instability as those around them constantly feel the need to navigate the emotional minefield. The constant effort to manage these manipulative behaviors can be incredibly draining, leading to emotional exhaustion and diminished well-being. So how exactly do low vibrational people destroy your spiritual energy? The impact, high and low vibe, Rational energies have on your spirit, it starts with your emotional state. When you absorb their negativity, your positive emotions get overshadowed. You might start feeling more anxious, irritable, or depressed without realizing why, over time, this emotional shift affects your thoughts. Positive up uplifting thoughts are replaced by doubt and pessimism. This mental shift can lead to spiritual stagnation where you find it hard to connect with your inner peace or higher self. Moreover, this constant bombardment of negativity can lead to physical symptoms, have you? Ever noticed how stress can manifest as headaches, fatigue, or 
Even stomach issues when your spiritual energy is under attack, your physical body responds chronic exposure to low fiber. Vibrational energy can weaken your immune system, making you more susceptible to illnesses. The impact of low vibrational people on your spiritual growth can be profound, influencing your journey in ways that hinder rather than enhance your progress. Spiritual growth is a deeply personal evolution toward greater awareness, wisdom, and connection with the divine or higher self it involves. Elves expanding consciousness, cultivating inner peace, and aligning with higher truths and principles, consider Immanuel Kant philosophy in his works, particularly in the critique of practical reason and the groundwork for the metaphysics of morals, K discusses the importance of autonomy, moral law, and the cultivation of one's character. Kant posits that moral growth involves adherence to the categorical imperative, which is an unconditional moral law, for that applies to all rational beings and is independent of any personal motive or desire. He emphasizes the importance of personal responsibility in one's moral and Spiritual development suggesting that external influences such as low vibrational individuals who may hinder one's growth need to be critically assessed and managed for C spiritual growth is aligned with the development of moral principles and the cultivation of virtues such as honesty, integrity, and wisdom. He believed that true spiritual and moral development comes from within and requires the exercise of reason and self-discipline. Low vibrational people can impede this growth by creating obstacles that disrupt your spiritual practice and inner peace. Their negative energy and behaviors create distractions, emotional turmoil, and energetic imbalances that divert your focus from spirit spiritual pursuits. Instead of progressing along your spiritual path, you may find yourself caught up in drama negativity and emotional exhaustion. Imagine you're committed to a daily practice that deepens your spiritual connection and inner peace. However, you have a friend who constantly criticizes your beliefs, mocks your practices, or dismisses your spiritual experience, and sees as nonsense their skepticism and negativity, create doubt within you, causing you to question the validity of your own spiritual journey. This doubt can weaken your resolve and diminish the effectiveness of your spiritual practices, hindering your growth and understanding. As a result, you may hesitate to explore deeper aspects of spirituality or share your experiences openly limiting your growth and self-expression. On the other hand, high vibrational people support and encourage your spiritual journey, providing guidance, understanding, and company. Ionship along the way, your spiritual energy thrives in high vibrational environments and suffers in low vibrational ones. Think of Ralph Waldo Emerson words, a key figure in the transcendentalist movement that says the only way to have a friend is to be one. This quote highlights the reciprocal nature of positive relationships. Emerson believed that individuals thrive when they cultivate and maintain relationships that reflect their highest values and ideals. Emerson's broader philosophy suggests that being in the presence of high vibrational individuals and in hall and sees one's spiritual energy and personal growth as these relationships. Foster a supportive and uplifting atmosphere. This aligns with the idea that spiritual energy flourishes in high vibrational environments and diminishes in low vibrational ones. Safeguarding our spiritual UAL energy requires cultivating positive environments and practices. This isn't to say that low vibrational people are inherently bad or malicious. Often they're struggling with their own battles, their own pain trauma and unresolved issues, unaware of the impact they're having on other, as their behaviors are a reflection of their inner turmoil and their inability to cope with their emotional challenges in a healthy way, while it is essential to have comp passion for their struggles, it is equally important to protect oneself from their draining influence. Your responsibility is to your well-being. But you may ask, how exactly can you protect your spiritual energy? How to protect your spiritual energy? Recognizing the influence of low vibrational people is the first step toward protecting your spiritual energy. One way to manage interactions, W. If low vibrational people is by, by setting clear boundaries low.
Vibrational people often disregard or disrespect your boundaries. Whether they're emotional, physical, or Tim-related, they may intrude on your personal space, demand your time without consideration, or push you into uncomfortable situations. This constant encroachment on your boundaries can leave you feeling invaded and powerless, eroding your sense of autonomy and draining your energy. Setting boundaries is not just about saying no to others. They are about saying yes to yourself. This means being assert, if about what behaviors you will and will not tolerate, and maintaining a safe emotional distance when necessary. Boundaries act as a protective barrier allowing you to engage with others without compromising your own energy and well-being. Healthy boundaries help you preserve your energy and protect your well-being, enabling you to interact with others from a place of strength and balance. Another strategy is to limit exposure to low vibrational individuals. In some cases, it may be necessary to distance yourself from particularly toxic individuals, while it m i not always be possible to avoid them entirely especially if they are family members or colleagues minimizing the time spent in their presence can help reduce their impact on your energy, if distancing is not possible. Find in supportive networks and communities can provide the positive energy and encouragement you need surrounding yourself with high vibrational people who uplift and inspire you can counterbalance the negative influences in your life. The importance of managing one's social environment for spiritual growth can be found in Stoic. Ism, a school of Hellenistic philosophy, Stoic philosophers such as Epicus and Seneca emphasized the importance of, of surrounding oneself with virtuous people and avoiding those who could negatively influence one's character and well-being. Epictetus, in his work discourses, says, The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. This quote underscores the Stoic belief that the company one keeps has a profound impact on one's moral and spiritual development. Stoicism teaches that individual UAL should strive to maintain their inner tranquility and virtue which can be supported by associating with those who exhibit wisdom, courage and self-control, conversely distancing oneself from individuals who exhibit negative traits, helps protect one's own spiritual and moral integrity. Drawing inspiration from spiritual teachings and principles can provide guidance and perspective, helping you navigate this challenge with clarity and grace. One such principle is the concept of non-attachment from Eastern philosophies, such as Taism. Non-attachment teaches detachment from outcomes posse. Seeons and even emotions allowing you to remain centered and unaffected by external circumstances when confronted with negativity or adversity. From low vibrational people practicing non-attachment helps you maintain a sense of inner peace and equilibrium in instead of reacting impulsively or becoming emotionally entangled. You observe their behavior with compassion and detachment, recognizing their actions stem from their own suffering and unresolved issues. In spiritual traditions around the world, there's a recognition of these energy dynamics, for example. I. In Buddhism, the company we keep is considered vital to our spiritual path. There's a parable about a lotus flower growing in a muddy pond. Despite its surroundings, the lotus rises above the muck, blooming beautifully. This teaches us that while we might find ourselves among low vibrational people, we must strive to rise above and maintain our purity. However, unlike the lotus, we aren't rooted in place and can choose our company more freely. Another guiding philosophy is the principle of spiritual sovereignty, which emphasizes personal empowerment and responsibility. ID for your energy and well-being. According to this belief, you have the power to choose how you respond to external influences and interactions by cultivating self-awareness and discernment. You can consciously protect your energy and maintain your vibrational frequency, regardless of the negativity or challenges you encounter. Energy cleansing rituals can also be beneficial in maintaining your vibration energy. These rituals can include practices such as smudging with sage or palo santo, taking salt bars or using crystals known for their protective properties, like black taline or amethyst. These rituals help clear negative energy from your space and your energy field, promoting a sense of clarity and renewal. Another important strategy is cultivating 
Self-awareness by regularly checking in with yourself and assessing your emotion. State, you can identify when your energy is being drained and take steps to replenish it. Contemplative presence and deep breathing can help you stay grounded and centered, making it easier to navigate interactions with low vibrational people without becoming overwhelmed. Finally, prioritizing self-care is essential for maintaining your vibrational energy. This means taking time to nurture your physical, emotional, and spire, itchel well-being through activities that bring you joy and relaxation. Whether it's spending time in nature reading or engaging in creative hobbies, self-care helps replenish your energy and keep your vibration high by nurturing your well-being. You strengthen your resilience and capacity to maintain a high vibrational state. In addition, developing emotional intelligence can enhance your ability to navigate relationships with low vibrational people. This involves recognizing and understanding your emotions and those of others and using this awareness to manage interactions effectively. Emotional intelligence allows you to respond with compassion and empathy while maintaining your boundaries and protecting your energy. While we can't always avoid low vibrational people, we can learn to protect our spiritual energy by recognizing the signs and understanding the mechanisms at play. We empower ourselves to make choices that nurture our well-being. Remember your spiritual energy is precious. Guard it with care, and it will continue to guide and uplift you on your journey. I hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching 